Check here, one, two, one, two. Episode one, working title, Quick Shift. Scotty Wilson, Kevin Connolly, myself, Sean Avery. Uh, we're going to do a little review that's going to live on the Action Park YouTube channel, not a website, although it could be a website. One could, day. Be, could be a website, also a podcast. Also a podcast, you never know. Uh, uh, we're in a creative space, all right? And the NHL is a creative game currently. And we want to review some clips from this past week. Uh, talk about the future. A new number 88 in New York. Um, well, a lot going on. There's Matt a lot going Barzell. on in the NHL. If you're, if you're uh, an NHL fan, a lot of, lot of good things. The playoffs, are good. it's going to be an absolute war in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to start with here, Scotty? Uh, we're going to start with the Flames Bruins game. All right, a little, so just uh, Bergeron package. Yeah, a little little backstory. Scotty loves the Boston Bruins. I've said many times I don't think that they can keep this train moving at this speed. All right, I think that they're going to be a, a, a they're going to be a luller. They're going to lull you. They're going to lull themselves to sleep in the first round. That's my that's my prediction. Ooh, that would, that would be tough. I mean, Olmark is a stud right now. Yeah, he, he was amazing goal. in this game. I think he had like forty plus saves. So this Pasternak, you guys just reminded me or told me that he's twenty seven. I thought he'd been the league for. I thought he was thirty six. No, okay. this is Bergeron first, right? Oh, this is, this is Bergeron first. He's yeah. one of my favorite players. He's a prototype of the kind of NHLer you want. He's to be. what you want uh, out of a captain, right? Sure. And and uh, he is probably thirty eight, and to be playing at this level at that age is a wild wild statement i mean he's top top tier player in the nhl right now right like he's got an eiserman vibe not you know to- obviously eiserman, maybe in a league of his own but yeah. he's got an eiserman vibe so him. scotty you said something before we started which is actually quite comical yeah. uh, this is what happens when you deal with millennials so scotty <laughs> put this together and he started with this clip and i guess this is a what he said to me was i just want to see if you pick it up yeah i wanted to Test you. Test, Test your me. hockey knowledge okay. a little bit. You so, did not respond well to that, Sean. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, my <laughs> hockey IQ is like... You through know, the roof. Through the roof, <laughs> right? Scotty, you, you, you're the best roller hockey player in the state of Los California. Angeles, no, Los, no, Angeles. Los Angeles. Oh, Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, I, I didn't even go all the way down to Orange County. There's some good players in Orange County, but in the city of LA. Right. I'm the, you're the pr- best. premier player. All right, let's roll the clip. Um, here we go. Yeah, what an unbelievable back check, and he understands how to not take a penalty in the modern-day NHL but still be able to apply pressure and steal pucks. He creates the whole play. Right, great. Passion, actually. Great. And he's, like, one of the best. He's the best face-off guy ever or something, right? Well, that's a hell of a face-off, yeah. and that was a that was a specific play. Look how low his hands are on the stick. That's what I was going to ask. Set play for sure, right? Is Absolutely. That a, is that a set play? He's supposed to pull that to that guy for yeah. a one-timer? Yeah. Watch what? it. Rewind it because the, the winger doesn't even try and do isn't that Isn't called that play called the hole, or is that just uh, – uh, uh, That I'm not sure. Not this angle. Orloff, second goal. Wow. Yeah, second goal. Oh, is that the only angle we have of it? Bring it back because I want you to see Bergevin's hands right there. Look how low. Boom. Is that DeBrusque? DeBrusque was the screen. Yeah, so he didn't even try and see. DeBrusque didn't even try and do anything. DeBrusque knowingly. He he, he cleared pretty quick. Yeah. Great goal. Okay. Definitely a set play. Keep going. I wonder if that's a set play and DeBrusque knows that my... Yeah. I'm just supposed to provide All right, a screen. This is OT. Yeah, OT. Good net drive. Marshan's beast. I mean, knee down by McAvoy, but but yeah, the pass from Bergeron. Yeah, I mean, so so it takes a special player to not need to take that shot. Like you know, you talk about LeBron or Scottie Pippen. He wanted that last shot. Look at Bergeron doesn't need acolytes. He just wants to make. The best play, which happens to be the sickest play, cross body. I mean, dumb question. This is the same game. Yes. Jesus Christ. Dude, it's also there's four seconds on the clock. You right. Think most people just rip that on net. Right. He makes the heady play. Right. All right. Oh, here's your boy. Love this guy. Yeah. Let's uh, let's pull this back a little bit because I want to tell you something. And you saw Tarasenko score the other night in OT. Um, Braden Point always comes from underneath because speed kills. Look at him. And then we can obviously talk about the Cooch pass. <laughs> you know, there's a handful of people in the world that can make that pass. Right. Maybe maybe five to ten people in the world. Look at the fucking pass. Pointer gets to skate under it, into it, and then he goes top she- cheese crossbody. 
So the next two are Cooch on the on the power play. Yeah, I mean, they, they, this power play, this team. Kev, you 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 respect the Tampa Bay Lightning. You know they're uh, dangerous. Of, of course, I well they're especially dangerous in the playoffs. I mean, if they if they're hitting on all cylinders and everybody's healthy in the playoffs, they're built for playoff runs, right? And you're not afraid that they didn't make enough moves at the deadline. Like this team is a team. This is a team. They've been together. Yeah. Right. You're right. Okay, so Cooch, so rewind it because normally what happens is Pointer, in the evolution of this power play, that pass is going to Pointer. That's the bumper. They do this all the time. So look at Florida. You got the, the, the top penalty killer. He's focused on point. The defenseman knows I got to pressure Cooch because I can't give him too much time. He'll thread the needle. So now they've adjusted it so well. Kalorn net front. Look at Stamkos. All right. In his wheelhouse, if he gets this puck, rewind it. If he gets this puck, 99% of the time in the old days or maybe two weeks ago, that is a one-timer and he's trying to go. Feels like a one-timer, right? Bar down. Yeah. So this pass. Boom. Drops his shoulder. Now he's got either pointer or killer, both with empty nets. It is as elite as it gets. Look at the goalie. Yeah, right. Look, they look were at the goalie. Already, they were already for Where's the shot. Where's the goalie? He's almost touching Stamkos's chest. Rewind it. Let's see how how hard he comes out at that. I mean, you got to challenge that shot, though. I know, like but said, but yeah. but watch. So he goes post to post. He comes out pretty hard. Pushes off. Wow. I mean, yeah. unbelievable. Okay. Look at this. Through the legs. Come yeah. on. Yeah. And Cooch, that, Cooch thought that was a one timer too. For and that sure. was a crispy. I love that Gudis on uh, Florida. Okay, Cooch, here we go. What he does is he buys so much time. You know, you, you have to... Res- oh, Jesus. He does. He buys time, right? He makes people go, all right. But they, they pull that play off every power play. Go back to it. Let's just watch the speed at which they move the puck. Cooch slows it down, sucks everyone to him, right? Suck him, suck him, bring him. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Get you guys some some space. Get into your spots. We we'll do a little huh D to D. It's coming back to me. Boom! Look at the defense. Mark Stahl almost tripped over himself. Rewind that. Rewind that. Watch Stalzy. Watch his feet. Right here. He almost fell. What a play. Kucherov creates space high too. Usually when you're that winger, aren't you a little bit lower? Like look at that stutter step. Rewind that on Stahl again. Oh, Stahl, he just killed Stalzy this shit. Look at this. And Stalzy's, look at that. Oh. <laughs> what a play. How old is Kucherov? I think he's probably 31. Is he? 32. He's still, got, like, he's still he's, oh, he's, he's right in his prime right oh, now. Oh, he's got lots. He's got tons left. The game's just going to keep getting easier for Kuch. Why cool. is that? Yeah, they called this. Yeah, because. They called back. Oh, they called it back. Yeah. Because the evolution at which these guys are creating new ways to play the game, it's happening at such a, a breakneck speed. You know? So that's goal interference, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a tough call. I think this was their second goal call back of the game too. It's a tough Florida call. Florida jumped out three nothing. They almost made a comeback. Alex Kalorn, for a guy that can't skate, man, he is one hell of an NHL player. I'll tell you that right now. Just hockey IQ through the roof, Scotty. No goal. <laughs> Okay, what do we got next? Uh, oh. n- nice pass from Ovi. Kind of similar to the Kucherov pass. This season play. God, that's a good play. So here's the problem, guys. Okay. Can I explain something to you? Rewind it. Please. This is the difference between my hockey IQ and yours, Scotty. <laughs> you clipped this because you think it's a great pass. It's only a great pass because Trocek knocked it down. Otherwise, it's off the fucking... No, it's off going the through t- clean. Look at it. I, I think. <laughs> Look at this. Hold, hold on. Okay. We'll bring it back. It gets deflected and it goes to him perfectly clean. This was look, this at the, look at this look at the space shot. This thing is that's an icing call, bro. It's yeah. off the G D I T. Okay, it's off that board. Well, right now it's on sides by about f- four feet. Yeah, that puck's over the line right there, right? Yeah, it's on side. But I'm, what I'm saying is it's a perfect pass because Trocheck knocked it down. Oh, I disagree. I'm guessing the. Uh, oh, you think Ovi meant to do that and it was gonna. I don't I, think I'm not even saying it. that Ovi called glass. I don't think he meant to get it deflected, but I think he he could corral that off the boards and still make a hard play to the net. Also, I mean, come on, okay, we're, we're watching was, this hand high. It's not a that. tape I mean, to nice t- finish. That's the Forsberg. It's not a tape to tape pass if it doesn't get knocked down. Anyways, agree to disagree. 
Yeah, yeah, they're just strong hands. Now this kid is crazy, bro. Yeah, the sh the shimmy shake, the heads. The, you know, these kids all play with their heads up now. So he looks like a young Patrick Kane. He Look does. at his head up. Look at that. So I mean, I, I probably put it in regardless, but just with all the Kaner stuff going on, it was very reminiscent. Rewind of, this. Of rewind this. I want to. I want you to see that angle. Okay. You know how dangerous a guy is when his head is up and he's stick handling with the puck. It's like Matthews. Yeah. Connor. Wow. You know, look at his head. Look at his head. Sees everything. Boom. What a play. He must be enjoying his life right now, huh? I don't Jack think he's Hughes. having that much fun. I mean, you still play for the Devils. It's not like you can't get in anywhere in New York because you play for the Devils. Is that true? Even if they're winning? Yeah, no. No one gives a fuck. So here's Wasp Kane's Stevens play. is not letting a, a New Jersey Devil in. I mean, almost wow, like, that's an almost an identical goal. Identical. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they emulate these guys. These are the kids that they grew up loving. Yep. Right. I mean, do you think they probably... Zegris, all these guys, like, just the rotation on on Kane to stay upright. By the way, it's crazy how similar those two goals are. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Marion. Carcillo with buckled. Yeah, going hard to the net. Go okay. <laughs> Rewind this, because... So, Scotty made a good a point, okay? I love the stickiness, how he, oh. he just gets that puck. He wins that battle. Now look at his feet. Boom, 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 I mean, even when he's not crossing over, I want you to watch his feet. Okay? Watch his feet right here. Push, 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 push. Outside leg. Push, push, push. Right here. Push. There. 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 See those small little micro, those little micro pushes? Rewind it just a little bit. Let's watch the whole thing again. Dude, he's also so good at shielding the puck and like he's up, and, well, that's and, what I'm keeps, saying. He's keeps like, and his head's up. His head's up, but right here. He's just strong, dude. Push, 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 head. push. I mean, it really does look like Yeah, a guy this is one of the down. nastiest. It looks like a guy coming down from a different league. Yeah. It just doesn't yeah, seem yeah, like yeah, he's yeah, playing right. in the same league as You're right. Is. I will say though, I'll take Cooch over McDavid. I got I'm getting Why do death you say threats. That, Sean? I'm getting death threats from uh People from Edmonton currently, like uh, fourteen-year-olds, I think they're like think those bots. Are but th those are well deserved. No, they're all on the same team or something, and they love McDavid. Obviously, let me tell you something. Okay, I will say it once. I will say it twice. Kucherov, what he does for all the players around him is much different than what McDavid does. McDavid, everyone gets to react off of McDavid. Yeah. With Cooch, Cooch lets the other guys react, and Cooch reacts off of them to win. In this league, I will take that player over the McDavid player because somebody's going to be able to shut down McDavid. You're going to go back to the old style of, of shadowing, like uh, uh, Claude Lemieux on Mario, 1992. I mean, is he okay? And is this guy okay? I, 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 last playoffs, he had, what, 25 points in a series No, and but a I mean, is Sean okay? No. What, what, what okay, the problem bro? is, no, but no coach has the balls to give a, a one single player that assignment. That's what they used to do. You, you shadow a guy. You're saying that yeah. Connor McDavid is, 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 you take Kucherov over Connor McDavid. And I, I love Kucherov. I mean, 100% any day of the week. And I by the way, Kuch has won three cups. Three Stanley Cups. <laughs> True. Yeah. Fair enough. But uh, uh, he's unshadowable. Can't shadow McDavid around. Who's gonna go stride for stride with McDavid? Like, it's like somebody's assignment. Right? So you don't need to. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, a young Bergevin could uh, do it because Bergeron. he understand Bergeron. He understands angles. He understands how to take take. He's a Selkie winner. He understands yeah. how to play defense against the top guys. Time and space. What's the Time Selkie space. again? Best defensive player of the year. Uh, this is one of the nastiest goals I've ever seen. I mean, it's yeah. just... Uh, That's why he got that nice new shiny ticket. I mean, it's just all posture knock there. It, it, head up, head up. Boom, boom. See, what's funny is posture knock doesn't even keep his head up like the, the young kids yeah. now. Like, he, he, he's a hybrid of it. But, man, his mitts are silky. Nobody's got... Nobody's got nerves like this guy around the around the blue paint. I mean, he posterized that dude. <laughs> All right, I remember Willie ne Nylander coming out after practice, uh, six, seven years old. Him and his brother, his dad I played with in New York. His dad was unbelievable. Unbelievable. This goal, and you said it earlier, Kev, weren't they trying to ship him? Weren't, weren't, weren't th yeah. they were trying to run him out of town a couple years ago? This is a... Unbelievable. This is my type of goal. And when you see this from a kid that's this skilled, 
Look at that. Look at that stickiness. Look at that. Look at the balls and just the fucking brashness to make that play. My goodness. Wow. Scotty, what do you have to Go say ahead. to your boy here? I mean, uh, granted, he's, I don't know, he's 20, I was 26, I'm, I'm shocked. I think he looks like a stud. Guy just inked a, what, what is it? Oh, listen, he's better than I am, for sure. He's got it, he's got <laughs> Kev, life what, by the balls. He's 26, but I'm saying, he's, he's got, a, got a guy that looks like he's been in the league a minute. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Kev. Uh, he's <laughs> look at him. What type of vibes vibe. are we? What, he's got a Dahmer vibe. He's got, I mean, he's got the Dahmer glasses. Hold on, he's, let he me just ask that know. again. I want everybody to hear that very clearly. Kevin Connolly, what's the vibe right now on uh, Pasternak? Can you rewind that? I mean, come on, bro. Like, let's face it. If it were, it, he could, like, pull his hair all the way back, throw on one of those shirts, and he could have been Dahmer for Halloween. I cannot believe, first of all, the uh, the sheepskin or the the fleece sheepskin combo with the, with the white T-shirt underneath, okay? Those fucking glasses. The glasses bro, are what does it. Those glasses are a major statement. <laughs> what are those and, and who knows if he even needs glasses. Because if he doesn't, that's even more of a statement. He's a rock star, though. Is that what it is? Yeah, he's, he's like king of the league. Does he? Well, Scotty's a, uh, a homer, obviously. Okay. What's he going to say? All right, yeah. I mean, uh, he's 26. I'm just saying. He does, he does not look 26. He doesn't look 26. And I, he's been. it feels like he's been in the league forever. And, I thought he was 36. I right. thought he was the same age as Bergevin. Right. Bergeron. Bergeron. Right. I'm like the Don Cherry of names, Scotty, literally. Scotty, but Nobody does, can get a name right Scott, or worse than me. Does this guy... Um, does he normally have a flair? Oh, yeah. The, oh, he does. His suits are like next level. Oh, okay. So yeah. this isn't an isolated uh, fashion faux pas. No, he, no. He's I, got style. So he's got, all right, good. That's yeah, good to know. I'll, I'll throw a few of his suits into Well, that into, helps into with context. Yeah. That helps with context. But he's a European. His suits are goofy as fuck. They are Okay. Goofy. So this is the first time I've see him, seen him with like, he could walk, this is like an interview magazine uh, right. spread. Details sort of, magazine? Yeah. Like back in the day? He's yeah. The cover details like, look magazine. at those. That looks good. This right. guy looks cool. Right. right, so you like this? I fuck yeah, yeah really. I, I I'm like vibing too. with this totally. Yeah. At least it's a statement, right? Those glasses are crazy. You're dude. thinking theoretically, those glasses might not even be. I don't think that he has prescription lenses. You which wouldn't is, think uh, so. No, those, right? those, those are just for style. With those eyes around the net. Yeah. See, I did not. Yeah, that would make sense. I I didn't know that he had a had a had a flair for the. I thought this was just an isolated. Caught him on a bad day. He's cool, but but you know. They don't have a lot of cool guys on their team. Like, like, Marshan's not that cool. Marshan's super cool. Oh, really? What you don't like his chirps? You don't like his Twitter game? I mean, he's just. I don't like. I don't think he's a. Uh, he, he. I've seen him dress. I've seen him like. I, no, cool to me is like. Yeah, who's cool? Um, like Pasternak. Like Pasternak's <laughs> cool. Pasternak's cool. I didn't know this. I, think, now I'm now think, I'm looking uh, at this. By the way, I'm looking at this wardrobe in a whole new light. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Matthews is Matthews cool. No, no, no. Furthest thing from cool. What about uh, Willie Nylander? Uh, cool. Willie Styles. What's his nickname? Is that <laughs> Willie cool. Styles? Willie Styles. Very cool. Yeah, you like it? Oh, he's very cool. He's uh, and a- Martian's pretty stylish though, isn't he? I don't think so. No. Nose face killer. No. Is that know. what they call him? That's what they call him. Scotty's got all the. Lingo, I don't get bro. it. Why? Because he's got a fucking ugly, busted up nose. Got a big horn, yeah. Oh, yeah. nose. Oh, he's yeah. a damn good player, Hall Pro- of Famer. Protect your neck. And then we just kind of threw in the Pasternak draft class here. Yeah, all these scouts should be fired. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. There's some good, some good. Yeah, the guys Knee- here. Nylander scout scout is safe. Uh, I mean, the big one is Drysaddle. You taking Dry- Drysaddle over Pasternak? Sean? Uh, yeah. Really? Well, it's a fucking coin toss, bro. But there's 20 picks between the two of them. I'm well, saying like that was I mean, the career right now. I I couldn't even choose. I mean, I, yeah. I well, no, I would take Pasternak. Right, yeah, you would take Pasternak. Dry, dry settle without McDavid. We don't even know what that looks like. Right. right. Honestly, By the, way, the Islanders uh, had. Honestly, the Islanders got that cold that year. I remember that. Don't so, sleep on this Kevin Where's Fiala. He, he might end up being one of the best players out of this whole board when it's all said and done. I'm just telling you that this Fiala kid has fucking game, game, bro. Dylan Larkin, that's a good draft class. Yeah, yeah, it's a good draft. Larkin's gonna win cups in 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 Detroit. He's young enough. He's got lots of time. All right. Is that it? No. Uh, we're gonna roll into Kaner now. Oh. Okay, Patrick Kane. Yeah, yeah Patrick big Kane. One, huh? that's big one. So, uh, so this is beautiful. You know what I mean? Um. He looks comfortable. Yeah. He's so. Remember him, the kid. He was a kid. He was always in trouble. He's he's a 
seasoned veteran right there, ready to do battle. Yes. He, he looks dangerous, man. So can I just give you a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, fuck. It's like the gray area. This is what I'm saying, okay? This is why I love Jim Dolan. Think about any other press conference that you've ever seen. Notice that there would be like a million mics. You know, there would be all kinds of mics up there. Right. So Jim Dolan basically has so much weight. He says to everyone, if you don't want our feed, fucking don't come. So that they keep it nice and clean and polished like that. That is a beautiful thing. Now, in the NBA playoffs, you would see it would be one mic because it's ABC's mic mm. or whoever's got the, the rights. This is just MSG, right? This is their own one mic. Rangers logo. Chase, their biggest gotta sponsor. Be, gotta be a big player here, yeah. Chase. Gotta be a big player. Uh, he's got the fresh lid. He's got the new Fanatics now is doing the... Um, is doing their their loungewear? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that a new deal? Uh, I think it's pretty pretty recent. Very ugly. I don't like the design of it. Um, what the Fanatics logo? Yeah, and just like the Rangers uh, across the, the shoulder. It's it looks, a little busy. Yeah, it, it a little, little busy. busy. Yeah. Little busy. <laughs> busy. <laughs> Very fucking busy. Little Did busy. they really need all of that? So uh, I wish you could find. The uh, Detroit Red Wings used to have the best underwear ever. Nike sponsored Detroit, and they had these dry fits. If we could find a picture, it would be might great. Be a, might be a weird Google search here. No, don't worry. Look look after. All right, let's go, Kaner. Let's um, go to the so, – uh, This is what I wanted to ask you. So when you get sent back to the Rangers after Dallas, what is it like when you get traded back? Like, Is the team setting you up at an apartment? What right. happens? Well, I – Technically, I still lived in New York. I was only in Dallas for two months. Uh -huh. uh, I had an apartment, so I just moved back in. Now, the first time, okay, so let me just say for Patrick Kane, well, for me, I was like, put me in the middle of the city, and I ended up in a high rise in Times Square. <laughs> all right. Since I have uh, departed, all the guys understood the power of downtown, and they all now live in Tribeca. If, the, if, if you don't live in White Plains or Terrytown, you live in Tribeca. You either live near the practice arena or Tribeca. Yeah. I thought you were a West Village boy. Uh, I was, but, you know, I was also a Soho guy when no one thought that Before you could live. Soho was cool. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy. Um, anyways, Patrick Kane is going to be in a $34,000 a month rental. Where is where is that and who facilitates Northmore. that? Um, it's going to be on anywhere from Northmore to... Fuck, he could be in, on, on Mercer. Like, he could go in Soho. It doesn't, he can go wherever he wants, but he's going to be close live, to the West Side Highway. He's going to be highway. close to where Panera, he's going to live in Panarin's right, right. building. Right? The, the Ice House is a, is a uh, I'm not sure what street that's on, but it's like Northmore, proper Tribeca, cobblestone streets, 34 to 38,000 a month. I'm dead serious. It's going to be 38 to 4,000 square feet, three bedrooms. And the biggest open fucking room loft slash kitchen you have ever yeah. seen. Kaner's a high rise guy. He was in Chicago. He was at uh, Trump Tower on like the seventieth floor. All right, Scotty. Well, the problem is there's no fucking high rises in Tribeca. Yeah, but he might be in the Trump Tower. G it was be, good enough for Jeter and A Rod. What I'm saying, I'm he's high rise guy. I don't no, think he's in like a townhouse. They're not townhouses. They're six story <laughs> buildings that are old lofts that are converted. He's in the Trump. Has he ever been to New York? <laughs> he's in the Trump. <laughs> Kevin? I think he's in the Trump. I, 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 are you are you joking right now? A couple times. No, well, these we, guys are living in... We could find out. I'm sure we could find out, right? I mean, is, we're is not it a, asking for his address. It, we could find out what part of town it a, he lives in. It's a one-year deal, right, for Kane? I think it is. Do they have an option signed. for next year? He's not. He, he's unrestricted. Yeah, so like, he could just be in a hotel, no? He's not in a hotel, no? bro. He's, no, he's got to get hotel. set up for the run. For there's the a run, run, bro. Yeah. There's a run. They stay in a hotel during playoffs. They move into the uh, Ritz Carlton Central Park West. I'm gonna yeah. say he's Upper East. Yeah, and I'm gonna say he's Trump. You guys couldn't like, be so further area. from the from the truth we on this. We can find out, yeah. I guess. I am the OG. I created the movement. <laughs> right, okay, that's what I'm saying. But you're you're they different. They haven't. They haven't. I'm, listen, I'm sure Pasternak <laughs> would be in Soho. All right, I'm sure Pastor. No, I'm not saying cool cool <laughs> no, they're not going to be in Soho. I actually didn't live in Tribeca. I lived in Soho, but I had you know bars and restaurants in 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 Tribeca. That's where they migrated to because they want to be as close to the West Side Highway and as far downtown yeah. as they can be. He's calling Panarin and saying, "Where do you live? I'm gonna, is there any available units in that building?" Yeah. All right, keep going. Let's see him. All right, so oh. this looks good. So I said, "Is he wearing a shell over those pants, or are those brand new pants?" You know, honestly, how does the equipment work? Tell us about those that. pants. Look like they could have somebody. They could be already worn. 
uh, they could be Cass could have said, listen, we got to use parrots. They're in pretty good shape. And Kaner was like, yep, give me them. They're broken in. They're game worn. But, but also the equipment is so high level now that they can put new equipment on and, and wear it. Right. I think Patrick Kane probably wears a new pair of gloves every game. If he didn't, they would be spray painting his old gloves because you're either, yes, I can play with new gloves or no, I can't guy. That's it. I mean, it's not like goalie pads, I would imagine. Where you have to like break them in. How often did you change your skates? Well, I, I wore a lot of skates. I yeah. wore a new pair every five games. They, 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 Why? Just because I like them stiff. Stiff, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and now they can just do whatever they want. You know, his sticks, he's, he's got all his under equipment is the same. He's got a new helmet. That's a little annoying. You're saying that the equipment has come so far that it's probably just like easy to pop on. It's not like yeah. I need a couple of games to break this in. The only thing he has to worry about is the pants, the gloves and the helmet. He's already, I think probably a new, a new glove guy. Yeah, this is an easy transition. He's feeling pretty good. The helmets, whatever. Yeah. I'll tell you, he didn't not play last night because he needed a day with the equipment. Right. You don't think it was because they wanted to premiere him at MSG? No. You think it was equipment-based? Um, I think that they – well, it, it could be. <laughs> I feel like they wanted to premiere him. I do, too. What's he doing? I think smart move, too. What's he doing day of? I mean, like, what's it, what the adrenaline rush must be insane, right? Well, he's probably in a hotel for the first couple of weeks. Uh, so he was in Philly. They took the train back to New York right into Penn Station, private train. It's their own train. There are no other humans really? on it outside of the team. Yep. Uh, roll right into Penn Station, okay? You, you walk up. There's – a million town cars there to pick up all the guys, take guys to Westchester. When you play for the Rangers, you live in a town car. You don't take taxis. There's fucking town cars always waiting for you. So he is hopefully, if it was me, I would be in the town car on my way to check into uh, Tribeca Grand. All right? right. Not Tri Tribeca Grand. Uh, um, the Mercer? Well, I would stay at the Mercer, yes. But there's another beautiful hotel in Tribeca where everyone stays. He's probably taking a town car down there, and he's checking into a suite. And the first little break in the schedule, off days, or maybe he's already found one online, he's going to make a smooth transition. I'm sure somebody has – I'm sure Dolan is sending the plane back to Chicago to pick up either his wife and the kids or more of his luggage. There's not. They're not sending shit FedEx. Is he married? Is he married with kids? I think he's married. He's got one kid, Patrick. Okay. Patrick Jr. Yeah. Patrick so Jr. I'm sure they're coming, right? <laughs> yeah. Patrick you think. Jr. Yeah. Wow. By the way, so let's we'll talk about his first game. Scott, you got a couple of picks. To but also the not the first us? 88 to wear the New York Ranger jersey that has a magnitude with it. Lindros, right? Eric Lindros. Right. I yeah. think Kane is a little bit different. But yeah, a little bit different. But Lindros is a legend too. Oh, I, thanks for giving that. I I, I, <laughs> I saw love you. Lindros. I saw you debating that over there. Like I mean, if you were gonna concede that. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Lindros is a stud too. Okay. Um, yeah. What, so what's, Kaner what's obviously feeling pretty like? good. I want to do a, a segment with gambling. I'm kind of a degenerate gambler. I know you guys don't gamble too much. So we're gonna do Scotty's picks, and you guys are either just gonna ride the bet with me or say no go. Um, so I have a few Kaner prop bets here. I mean, this is worth putting a hundred. Uh, that's what I would think, right? Right. Hundred right. bucks that he scores comes out yeah. on fire. So they're they're looking for him, right? Yeah. The odds are plus eleven hundred. So that you he scores a hundred hundred bucks. Kaner to get the first goal. There's going to the be some heavy action on that bet tonight. I'll yeah. bet you there is. And is it and is it the first goal period? It's got to be the first first goal, goal period. score. Period. Interesting. Yep. Okay. By the way, that's going to happen. Watch uh, that happen. It, 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 it could. could happen. Eleven hundred. Yeah. So the the next one is uh, Kaner to be any time goal scorer, and that's plus one forty. Wow! Look at the difference of that. It's, it's I wouldn't take that bet. Right, no, because you if you're going to take the, take the bet, you I mean, go you yeah. go the other you go with yeah. the first goal. But if you're yeah. if you're a true gambler, you would put a hundred on both, and cover. you win forty. No, no, you cover you, yourself. You cover yourself. So if he scores the first goal. Uh, you get the you get the big payout if he scores later in the game. You cover your hundred dollar loss. Oh, so that's how that works. Yeah, oh, right. Wow. So if he, if he doesn't score the first goal, you got him scoring to to cover to your cover, loss. To cover your loss. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. I like nice. it. What's the third pick? Uh, what is the third pick? Ooh. Uh, so this one is kind of a cool prop bet. It's uh. I also would have liked him to make a statement and go back to the um old Bauer helmet. Really. In his new Ranger uniform. I hate that helmet that he wears. It's the stupidest helmet ever. I don't know why he wears it. Nobody wears that helmet. It's a big yeah. fucking dome on his head. And you know what? Kaner why does he wear that? Did, he also always wore the uh, ear guards yeah. in his helmet. So weak. By the way, cool. I like I like Patrick Kane 
this this I think is probably the best bet. I've, He's going to have a couple points tonight. That's probably the best bet on the board. Yeah, so it's uh, assists or goals. Couple assists. You know, you get a, get a few power plays, and he gets you know a second assist or whatever. It's it's uh, plus one eighty five. Secondary for sure. I like this one. Yeah, I mean, listen. Uh, we should bet. We should bet a couple of these. I'm, I'm back to, to back. Don't sleep on those senators, boy. I mean, they I know, can right? they can they can True. surprise you sometimes. Listen, there's a lot of parody in this league. He just is, looks great in his gear. He it's, looks great, and he's coming off hot from the Hawks. He, I think he had five goals in his last two games, mm-hmm. so he's playing good hockey. The energy is going to be crazy. Ooh, what do we yeah. got here, Scotty? So this parlay. is this is my, the last one. It's a parlay. It's the Rangers to win by two, the Bruins to win by two, and the Lightning just to win uh, plus six twenty eight. That's a that is a fucking that's a great bet. It's a good bet because the win by two is tough, empty though. netter you're yeah. up by one and it's an empty netter you'd be surprised how often it doesn't happen when you have it by two but uh, you know, I, 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 know, I understand the half game. a point i know the game okay but. half All a right. point okay. half a point <laughs> and tampa to beat he uh, understands pittsburgh. the concept of the that empty guy. net that this is a lock because pittsburgh smoked tampa the other night tampa's not going to lose to pittsburgh no. two in a row well, tampa's going to win that game but i don't i don't like yeah. um i don't like the double you also got all the teams at home i always like to to ride the home teams yeah this is a great bet but scotty that also, that this is probably me. the best bet on 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 any betting site today that you could find good slip great three picks you should take this and you should put a thousand we should put a thousand on this i like i like don't tempt me with a good time i, I like patrick kane to have two points that's, that's my. That's yours. That's, that, that would be. What would a thousand? Like what would a thousand pay out? Six thousand two hundred and seventy bucks. Well, that's it's not, not that much. Well, I was going to say the odds well, are not that great. It's I truly mean, seven thousand. No, it's pretty good odds. I mean, the the plus, that's a lot of things that the, have to the happen. Two, bro. The two minus one and a halfs are a little a little risky, and the Bruins at minus one twenty of minus one and a half is not good odds. But yeah, I it's mean, all relative. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't like it. That's a lot. Uh, this is where a lot has to happen. This is where if you think that we could, you know. Uh, possibly you could come and partner with us and we could help you with your sports betting. I'll tell you what, this looks pretty fucking good right here. Yeah. Let's Scotty's parlay. Else. Scotty's picks. Scotty's picks. Episode Scotty. one. What are we calling this? Quick shift. Working title. Quick shift. Working uh, title. What do you think of it? AKA working title, AKA quick shift. Quick shift. Yeah. That's what do you think of quick shift though? Project name. I don't love it. You don't love it. Yeah. Quick shift. Tell him. Did you tell Sean what your pitch was? Well, I don't know what my pitch was. I, I'm thinking about it. I like it. Quick, quick shift. Like, come on, come on, that's boys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna be Let's different. Get a couple length. of quick shifts right, like the in. Clips come quick. It's just a quick thing. Quick we'll jump shifts. around. Yeah, we're quick yeah, shift. 20, to... 20 minute episode. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. Right. Yes. I, and also, I'm I'm big on singular. Yeah. Yes. I don't like shifts. Right. Too many shifts. S's. Shift. Yeah. Oh, quick shift. quick shift. Oh, shift. much easier. Yes. Much better. Yeah. Quick, quick shift. shift. Yeah, quick shift. Quick shift. Working yeah. title. That's the sign of a man who knows and understands the importance of a period or a pause or a breath Sh- or a shifts. break or just being able to land the goddamn plane. Quick shift. <laughs> quick shift. Quick shift. Clean. Nice I, got, clean. I got one thing I want to end on. You ever take the subway just to a game when you were on the Rangers? I think you could have waited. I think we had a great uh, exit on that. But well, I mean, um, curiosity. I no did. One's talking about me with the I eyes. took the subway <laughs> to most games. <laughs> yes. You did, oh, really? You, you, you talking about you? Oh, I thought you were talking about no. me um, eating the ice. No, of course, oh, no, he's no. taking no, shots no. at me. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm yeah. surprised he doesn't have a drink. I'm a little <laughs> bit disappointed in our coffee. first fucking episode. Oh, so you, you didn't would, have a drink. So, Sean, you would, you would take the subway to the game, but yeah. like, part of you would like, like that, right? Um. Or was it just the most practical way to get right. there? No, because home games we didn't get town cars unless you, um, if you lived out of you the city, from the village, you yeah, jump on the. <laughs> what would you take? What train were you well, taking? Uh, I would take the six to forty second, I believe. Right, or you and go have straight to walk. into Penn. You could, you could surely go straight to Penn Station. Right. At that point. That's right. There I, I would have to right? walk over to Fourteenth Street to do that. And the fans wrecking the, the fans put two and two together. Go like, oh, he's probably going to the yeah. game, or or do you kind of? I think that uh, pregame face mode. Earbuds in, music playing. I probably looked like a fucking like I was in a John Wick movie, <laughs> right? And nobody had any interest in fucking coming over and, and chit chatting with I, me. I I love that, and I always would extend that courtesy to somebody that looks locked in. Yeah, you know what I say what to that? Indeed. Go let for him, it. Let them be locked in. <laughs> totally. Mind your business. Totally. Enjoy that. Mind lock. your business. Yeah. Let them be locked in. Good stuff. All right. Quick shift. Quick shift. See you next week.